everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. I'm finally back with a new video. I'm going on a trip next week. It'll be my first flight in around three years, which is crazy. And I always get so nervous if I don't fly for a long time. So should be interesting. <laughs> I'm not bringing a checked bag. I'm only gonna be staying for three nights where I'm going. So I am gonna have to bring all of my makeup, all of my like bath products, toiletries, everything like that in a carry-on bag. So it has to meet all the TSA requirements. And I figured I would go over those things in this video because my previous videos, I do get questions on like what you're allowed to bring in a carry-on. So I'm gonna answer those questions for you. So if you are new to my channel and you've never seen me before, like I said, my name is Brittany. I do cruelty-free beauty and lifestyle videos. If you're into that, check out my other videos and click the subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get started with my makeup and liquids bag. All right, first off, I'm going to cover a few little TSA requirement points. If you're going to be bringing any liquids in your carry-on bag, so that would be, or your personal bag, what you're actually gonna be having in flight with you above the like seats or below the seat in front of you which would be your personal bag then it's going to need to be in a quart sized clear bag this is my now go to travel tsa sized liquids bag this is from the brand design love fest i I've never heard of it before, but this is what I always use. I either got it from like Marshalls or Winners or some store like that. So if you check those stores, most of the time they will have like a reusable one or you could just get a clear quart size like Ziploc bag if you want. I just prefer the ones that are more like structured and super easy to take with you everywhere you go. And I love to play with makeup. So I wanted to bring a lot of different options. So my little trick is to bring samples. I always like to get products that I know that I love so that whenever I go on trips and I can't bring like even one of the travel size containers of something, then it's always gonna be useful because you can fit a lot of samples into one of these bags. Any products that are straight up liquid, creams like a moisturizer, those have to go in these bags, gels, any other type of like serum, skincare, things like that are always gonna go in this bag, as well as like toothpaste, lip gloss, all those types of things, mascara. The only exception for that rule would be something that basically like holds its shape, so deodorant doesn't have to go in there. I don't want you to really quote me on that. I did find that on the TSA website though, but it's always up to the TSA agent's discretion for what they allow to go in. So there's always a chance that something might get denied and you'll have to give it to them. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> but for the most part, things like lipsticks and deodorants don't have to go in because they are technically like a solid. They hold their shape. Anything that goes inside the liquids bag has to be under 3.4 ounces each. And if you have anything above that, it has to go in a check bag, which will be below the airplane. So all of my liquids and gels, creams, those are all under 3.4 fluid ounces. They all have to be under that amount, um, but I hardly ever have anything that is that big in here. I always just bring small things so I can pack as much in here as possible. First up, I have some samples of shampoo and conditioners that I've gotten from Sephora. I have a Brio Gio shampoo and conditioner sample as well as a whey sample and these are just really convenient to have if you want to try out different products but also for traveling. I wear daily contacts so I have two packs of the dailies. I try to get like two uses out of them. So I have a mini bottle of the contact solution in here as well as my actual contacts because they're in liquid. Almost all of my skincare is actually in samples so I have like many samples of the confidence in a cleanser, confidence in a cream, confidence in an eye cream. I have all of it. I also have a little one from Amora Vita for like a mask if I feel like doing that. I just remembered I didn't put any of my under eye masks in here. I always do those on the plane so I gotta add that. Something that I got recently from the brand Kitsch is this little set of travel size containers that I just put my foundations in. This is actually sunscreen because I love this one sunscreen. It's from Boo Bamboo Sun Care. It's the natural sunscreen SPF 40. It's like my favorite mineral sunscreen. So instead of just like 
buying one while I'm there. I put like a huge chunk of it in here. I also put little elastics around the top just so that, you know, it doesn't explode or something. I really hope it doesn't. I got this St. Tropez Self Tan Express. It is the one hour self tanner, but you can leave it on for up to three hours to get even darker if you want. So I thought, why not bring it and just touch up my tan and actually look like I've been on vacation. St. Tropez is cruelty free. I didn't know that until recently. I have my favorite mascara at the moment from Say. Two different lip glosses. One is from Catrice. It is the powerful liquid lip balm in the shade lychee glaze or lychee and this one is really old it's from jouet cosmetics but it's in the shade funfetti it smells so good and it's literally just an insanely sparkly lip gloss and i figured why not go to vegas while i'm on flights i always love to bring some sort of facial spray because the air in the plane is so dry i will actually be bringing a face mask to wear in the plane even though it's not really required, but I just feel like, especially with the air being recycled in a plane, it's probably best to be wearing a mask. So I'm gonna bring one of those, but every once in a while, I will probably be spritzing my face with the Queen of Hungary Mist from Amora Vitsa. It's one of my absolute favorites. It just feels so nice and refreshing. I got the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in vanilla, so that's coming with me, of course. Always need lip balm. My Sage Peppermint Halo, which is amazing for for headaches and sore muscles. Another thing that is super convenient to have are just perfume samples so they take up less space in your liquids bag if you have to bring them in your carry-on. So these are from the brand Ellis Brooklyn. I have Myth and Sci-Fi. Oh, they smell so good. This was a point perk at Sephora and it is perfect because Urban Decay has my favorite setting sprays. So I am of course going to bring my cute little one and then I always just refill this one anytime it gets low for traveling. The thing that's actually really hard to find in cruelty free brands is travel size toothpaste. I found a couple but they are fluoride free and I prefer fluoride in toothpaste. So I usually just use the samples that my dentist will send home with me every time I go. So so I'm just trying to use that up. This tiny little thing is actually lash glue that came with a set of lashes. So I'm bringing that. I have a little container of the Super Goop sunscreen. This is the mineral sheer screen, which is like for your face. So I put a little bit in here. The only thing that I thought of after is I probably shouldn't have put it in a clear container because if it's exposed to sunlight, it'll start to like break down the SPF. Oh, the last two things are skincare and hair care. I have a little sample size of the Way hair oil because I have very dry hair as well. And the Ulla Henriksen Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner. I love to use this at night. And this was another little sample or point perk from Sephora. So bringing that and then I'll refill it when it gets low. My neighbor just started mowing the lawn, so you'll probably hear that, but that is it for my liquids bag. And the rest of my makeup is just in this bag. So in here is where I'm keeping anything that is like a powder or technically like a solid. First thing is an eyeshadow palette. I decided to take the Tartlet in Bloom palette by Tarte. It is a little bit dirty, but it has all of the like typical shades that I would want to use in an eyeshadow look and it's pretty versatile. There's shimmers, mattes, and it goes from like super light to very dark. This is kind of fun because I might play around with some like jewels in my makeup so I'm bringing this little sheet of like face and body jewels that I got from icing. My concealers I decided to bring are something that I'm not like 100% sure if it's technically a solid because it is like a super thick concealer, like there's no movement in it whatsoever. And I figured if a lipstick is considered a solid, then I would consider like this a solid. For bronzers and contour, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks in the shade Mocha for contour because it's kind of like a neutral contour shade. And then the Kosas Soft Bronze in the shade Light. This is a really beautiful like 
glowy bronzer without being like glittery or even really shimmery. It just has like a nice sheen. I have the Kaja Cutie Bento in the shade Juicy Watermelon. I love these blushes. They are also like a cream, but it's more like a lipstick consistency so I have the first shade that's more of like a dusty rose and then the second is a brighter like juicy coral watermelon shade it's so nice the ColourPop super shock cheek matte in the shade thanks for the memories and this is just kind of like a nice peachy color and I have a highlighter from ColourPop in the shade glazed and this is a nice like kind of soft light golden highlighter. A couple more things for eyeshadow is the Super Shock Shadow in the shade Millionaire from ColourPop. It's just like a shimmery, super shimmery bronze shade. I'm bringing a pigment from NYX and I just realized that it's called Vegas Baby slash Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> How perfect is that? This is a really, really beautiful pigment. If you can get your hands on it, do it. It is like stunning. The only powder I'm going to need is this one from IT Cosmetics. It's actually just a sample size because once again, IT Cosmetics are very generous with their samples. It's the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder in the cutest little size. So bringing this, I love this powder so much. I have two pairs of false lashes for my trip. Still need to get a brow gel. I ran out, so I need to get that and throw it in the liquids bag. But I am bringing the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP in the shade Ash Brown. It's just a skinny brow pencil. I don't know why I'm bringing so many like of the same lip options, but I have like four lip liners and three of them are like almost identical. I have the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Honey Beige, which has more of a peachy undertone and the Marcel Velvet Gel Waterproof Lip Liner in the shade Buff Nude, which has a cool pink undertone, almost purpley. And then the NYX Cosmetics lip pencil in the shade Nude Beige, one of my absolute favorite nude lip liners. This one is just like neutral brown beige. So different undertones, is it necessary? Probably not. I did bring the NYX Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Orange. I used to love an orange lip, so maybe it'll come out again in Vegas, I don't know. For actual lipsticks, I have the Huda Beauty cream lipstick in the shade Hustla. I think it's part of their Boss Nude shades or something, but again, just like a nice, fairly neutral nude. The Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipstick in Honeycomb. <laughs> Shocker, it's another beige nude color. This one's a bit more pink though. And in case I wanna go super nude with the lips and just add a little bit of lightness onto them, I'm bringing the Doll Face Lipstick from Too Faced. This was a part of their like peach lipstick collection. It has like cute little peaches that are embossed on the side, which is pretty adorable, but I don't know if I will need to use this at all, but you never know. Last things in here are like grooming items. So I have a mini pair of tweezers. I have a pair of lash tweezers or like applicators from Tarte and then a dermaplaning blade, which if you are gonna bring like your razor, which I also need to add, then it just has to have like a cover of some sort. I was considering just using the soap in the hotel rooms, but you never really know how good the quality is gonna be. So I'm actually just bringing a bar of soap. This is from the body shop. It's the almond milk and honey for sensitive dry skin. And it's just like a nice bar of soap. Gonna be much nicer to bring my own that I know is not gonna like irritate my skin. Hopefully this helped you out in knowing what you can or can't take in a liquids bag with you or just in your carry-on in general. On a flight, I have almost perfected how I can pack as much as possible in my liquids bag. Um, I'm sure I could do without some of these things, but I just like to be prepared and know that I'm gonna have stuff that I actually really enjoy. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you are also going on a trip soon and where you're going. I wanna hear about your vacation plans for the summer or anytime coming up. And I hope you are all having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.